What up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Black Man with another guest. You got the real young boy versus old block store. Let's do it, man. Make sure boy follow my IG at the top right. You already know what's going on. Uh oh. This nigga stupid. <laughs> Look at that nigga face, bro. Good you on, bro. Oh, cool. I ain't got no face, nigga. Young boy has built a well-respected name in the rap community. For the last couple of years, he's consistently been one of the most watched and streamed artists there is. In the past, fans and even other rappers have tried to question Young Boy's street credibility. Because he grew up at such a young age and he's been a mainstream rapper now for years, it's hard for some to believe the lyrics he raps about. Right now, he's been assigned house arrest in Utah for crimes. He talking about since he was so young, it's hard. Nigga, why are you rapping? They still be in the street, nigga. He ain't blow up, blow up at 16. You were still in the street. Nigga. I believe the lyrics he raps about. Right now, he's been assigned house arrest. So they can still have most of it. Just did the other day and rap about it. This means all he really has to entertain himself is drop music, which brings us to his newest mixtape, Colors. On the song, Bring the Hook, Youngboy decided to lay it all on the track, leaving some disrespectful words for the late King Vaughn, but also his entire neighborhood of Old Block. Although Vaughn is no longer with us to defend himself, this is a they, they drop this Vaughn. Shit, man. King Vaughn is still a name that's highly respected, not only by his neighborhood of Old Block, but also his friends and other mainstream artists who didn't take a liking to the disrespect. Who? But the issues that started this beef go all the way back. Let me go him. back, man. Let me I'm over here dancing. Let me listen, bro. Young Boy's part. King Vaughn is still a name that's highly respected, not only by his neighborhood of Old Block, but also his friends and other mainstream artists who didn't take a liking to the disrespect. But the issues I still that know started this go all the way back to 2019. Mm -hmm. For King real? Vaughan oh yeah, they said it was about Melly. Instagram Live, yep. stating he's not really about that life and his songs are cap. I wonder why he did oh, that yeah. though. He ain't even like that. Oh. Even if he felt like that, why he had to do it on live Bad. though? Cap. You got cap in your Rap. I know young boy was mad when he heard that boy. You know how he gets. Maybe a young boy fans demanded an apology from Vaughn, but Vaughn simply replied he would only beef with another rapper if they were from 63rd, essentially making a joke that he would only beef with another Chicago gang. Fans took this as his way of saying there was no real issue, and they left it to rest. Young boy I don't think it was, responded though. To this, but it's assumed he was aware of what was said that day. I think it's literally what he said on the, on the interview. He said, him and Youngboy just shared the same girl. So. Youngboy never publicly responded to this, but it's assumed he was aware of what was said that day. For over a year, nothing was mentioned of this again, until the two started going back and forth in the summer of 2020. This oh, time, yeah. it started over a female. Tania, man. man I just wasn't don't get either. her, man. Neither young boy or She's Vaughn reacted unique. to the situation. Very unique. But after the media got a hold of the photos and covered the story, it started tension between the two artists once again. Other Chicago rappers like 600 Breezy then made Instagram posts that appeared to be mocking young boy and insinuating that King Vaughn slept with his ex. One thing about him being <laughs> young boy, he doesn't usually react to the comments made about him the first time. But after he feels provoked to respond, he doesn't hold back. Yeah, this started a whole back and forth between Vaughn and Youngboy, but also members of their crews as well. 600 Breezy and other Chicago rappers backed up Vaughn, and Quando Rondo stepped in to back up Youngboy. <laughs> Lil Tim and Quando even tweeted at Chicago rappers to chill before this I remember this. Far. I remember Things this. Things then got petty. Youngboy announced he was doing a song with King Vaughn's ex as well, to even the playing field. They gotta try Vaughn that so tweeted shit back, but when asked about it, King Vaughn's ex is Hold up. Hold up, bro. Well, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was gonna go play Vaughn's the snippet, but never mind. But when asked about this on multiple occasions, both sides stated there was no beef. People told me you and Young Boy was beefing or something like that. Said something about that about you. What happened, Vaughn? What's going on with you, man? It's crazy he got this interview. They be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same interests and in, in, in holes. And then, you know how the internet will try to make it. Don't tell me y'all got think... problems over girls. It is. No, it's the internet, gang. No, nah, it was. You know, they try to make it like But that, it was just about a girl. Two, two girls. Ooh, what the hell? Vaughn was sliding on that one. I ain't gonna count. At the time, both what Vaughn and Youngboy were under investigation for different cases, so it's easy to understand this response. 
It was clear both sides had chips on their shoulders though. As we know, these events would eventually lead up to King Von's passing on November 6, 2020, Man. outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta. I saw Little all tip. he had to do was just call him out. He ain't had to sneak. If y'all would have called each other, if you would have called him out, saying, hey, bro, they get, get, I mean, I don't want my win, whatever. No shooting would have happened. No way. Unless y'all got to jumping. But there would have been no shooting. I swear, bro. All he had to do was just tell him, bro. You don't just run up on nobody, bro. November 6, 2020. Outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta. Lil Tim, an associate to Quano Rondo, was named the man who pulled the trigger and ended Vaughn's life. Although neither Youngboy or his camp was directly involved in his death, Quano was Youngboy's artist. Vaughn had approached Quando that night about comments he made towards his camp. I think they're closer than that. I think they're closer than that. I really think they don't jump out, whatever they jump out game, and focus on a very lot then. Like, very lot then. Because, bro, they pretty much clicked. Like, they pretty much tied, like, they pretty much the same thing, bro. Like, Tim is pretty much focused. So, you know, he be on club by green flag activity. So, it's the same thing, bro. They, live. they just from Savannah. Young or his camp was directly involved in his death, Quando was Youngboy's artist. Vaughn had approached Quando that night about comments he made toward his camp when he stepped in the beef to back up NBA Youngboy months before. This, of course, was really only the beginning of a new issue that involved even more people. As we know, Vaughn was close friends with Lil Durk, and after his death, the beef was then passed on to Durk as well. Despite Lil Durk working with both the Durk and Kano Rondo in the past, he now had to stand behind Vaughn's words. These events would also create a huge divide in the industry, not only for other artists, but fans as well. I ain't on no hate and stuff at all, but why does everybody feel the need to pick Lil Durk's side? What about, y'all act like Lil Durk? It's like the biggest art. Like, I feel like beside young, but the biggest artist is Lil Baby. But everybody act like it's Dirt. I know they pretty much on the same level, but I feel like Lil Baby more bigger than Lil Dirt, though. But I don't know. They act like Dirt is the biggest artist ever. They always go on his side. <laughs> this would also create a huge divide in the industry. Not only for other artists, but fans as well. People, of course, felt like that boy Dirt did inside. work for that, though. A lot of other artists didn't want to collab with Youngboy after this because then they would be cutting ties with Lil Durk, so many chose to just not work with him anymore. In an interview they with got Lil Baby, they got so many Savage people, what you mean? Well. You got him and um, Quando, and a lot of niggas fuck with Durk, so a lot of niggas ain't gonna fuck with young boy shit because they fuck with Durk. You don't really gotta pick sides, but it's like some niggas, I don't know. You gotta have, you gotta be a certain type of artist to be able to just yeah. be in the middle. Like Kodak. I feel like. Right way. <laughs> this made NBA young boy from the industry. I forgot what song that is. Somebody please tell me. That, somebody please tell me they know this song. I want to hear this shit right now. I ain't gonna cut. I ain't heard it in a minute. That's why. NBA young boy feel blackballed from the industry, and he started to only work with those very close to him. From this moment on, there's been tension building on both Lil Durk and Young Boy's side. I don't care. This shit kind of bad. Believe Lil Durk took shots at Young Boy in his verse on the song "Still Running" with Meek Mill and Lil Baby. But Young Boy would then spend some time behind bars, and he never publicly responded to anything that was going on at the time. Yeah. Fans, of course, instigated the issues though, questioning Durk when he was going to get revenge. I also don't Durk. know what song that is by Durk. What did he say in that song? This would go on until present day. It's unclear what made Youngboy finally decide to speak on the situation almost a year later, but the lyrics from Bring the Hook speak for themselves, clearly directed at King Von and Old Block. This would initiate a response from Chicago's Lil Reese as well as many others. Even after receiving backlash from a lot of the community, Youngboy still had more to say and he didn't back down from his words. He released another song, No Like I Know. This time the lyrics were directly aimed at Lil Durk himself. Dirk then posted a photo on Instagram, sitting next to a photo of what he that little Dirk. Yo, bite the dust. Himself. I thought he Dirk was talking about Lindley Chopper right there. Sitting next to why. a photo of King Von. His caption read, "Don't claim it if you ain't do it." Saying but that Youngboy had more no sense right to speak dirt. on Von's death since he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. Youngboy shout out Jay Willie Silly man. He explained this perfectly. Dirt has no reason saying that when he be talking about all these other people, like Dog too good like come on bro don't be a hypocrite even if you ain't do it saying that young boy had no right to speak on von's death since he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger young boy it's of course, the same game i don't own. get what y'all mean by that on the floor with the words you all gonna die written in a hundred dollar bills 
to which Dirk told him to hurry up with another caption using a play on words for Youngboy's mixtape colors. Although these back and forth posts have been well in the rap community, many don't believe there is actually anything to worry about, at least for right now. Youngboy is on house arrest in Utah with his court case still pending, and as part of that agreement, he has live-in security and law enforcement on the property. On the other end, Oblock was seen burning green flags, which is associated with Youngboy's 4K I need that song in the background. Despite them being states apart, it's not to say that this issue won't escalate even more when Youngboy is able to leave his home and do shows again. And just because Youngboy is unreachable at this time, it doesn't mean that others associated with Oblock and 4K Trey are safe either now, because this involves more than just two rappers going back and forth. It's unlikely this it gotta will be, be called fake love soon, due to blood being shed already. It, it literally there got There have been rumors to. of higher ups in the music industry. <laughs> I knew it. God, I already had this song downloaded. I told y'all. Come on, man. Industry working to have them resolve. Come on, it. Challenges. Everyday life in any fucking state made me who I am. Standing up, being strong. My situations I went through made me who I am. I used to really doubt myself. Like, I used to think this shit wasn't gonna happen. I literally wanted to quit, and there have been times that I quit for a short period of time, like a week. And be like, you know what? I, I gotta step back on this. Like, exactly. Hey okay, man, it's the end of that. Make sure I'm with him. I think about in the comments, man. Hit the like button, hit the sub button. I'm in the